Christ according to the Bible. He is. He's a white boy, apparently. He's a white boy? That's what you think? What about Actually, you? Actually, we don't think that. Apparently, that's what he's saying. He's according to the Bible. That's what he's saying. He didn't get the question. Oh, really? Oh, I said, what color? What color? He didn't say. He said, is it feminine? Yeah, it's melanin. But I don't know. I don't know. Exactly. But you don't know where to find it. You know where to find it at? We're going to show you. We're going to prove it. Because the Bible says prove all things. Watch this. Right. It's a book of Revelation. Chapter 1. Bring it out. Bring it out. Alright. One, two, one, two. Let's get it. Alright. It's the book of Revelations. Chapter 1. Book of Revelation, chapter 1, and verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. Oh, yeah. That was good. That was good. I'm with y'all. I got to get out there. All right. All right. All right. Love y'all. Right. Love y'all. That's the love. Yeah. Right? What about you, mister? Uh, what would you Christ look like according to the... No, if you walk in today, what would you look like? I, I met what someone. You I met my Jesus. I said, what would Jesus the Christ of the Bible yeah. look like if he is walking today? Uh, the black man. He might even allude that he was Hindu. They like say he's the black man. He was correct. Yeah. Was so correct. I'd say Hinduism. Very simple. They, 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 they know it's a, it's a, a life practice. Jesus Christ is not no damn Hindu. Right? Hey, hey, Hinduism is a pursuit of ambition. Well, look, let's bring something out. Yeah. I, got, I got, you know what I just had? So I, got, I got Daniel for me. You know what? Let's get that. Look at Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like a... And his feet, look, you got your, your nasty feet out, right? So your feet is the same color as the rest of your body. That's small feet. And his feet like a fine grass. As if they burn in a furnace. Right. Well, it'll be a dark, dark, dark skin man. We gotta bring this out all the time because your nation of people has defiled our king and gave us that image. Get that in there, sis. Right. Get, you guys gave us that nasty image that looked like you. That looked just like you. Right. And our king does not look like that. Give me Revelation 11 and verse 8. This is why we gotta come out here week in and week out. And, and, and clear Christ's image. It's the book of Revelation. Because y'all. Right? It's the book of Revelation, chapter 11, or verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Also, our Lord was crucified. His image was crucified in this land, right? His message was crucified also. That's why the um, the Edomite that was up here was saying God loves everybody when He does not. That whole Gentile breakdown where he where where it says the Gentiles can be saved, talking about the natural Gentiles, some false doctrine. So that's why we're out here paving the way. Each time we come out here, it gets closer and closer to the Most High, the uh, Christ, not the Most High Christ, but Christ coming back and slaying you Edomites, right? And slaying them. Because the so-called white man, woman, and child is the goddamn devil that the Bible speaks of. That's right! And you're very red. I already told you, you're very red and hairy. It's like, he might he might actually be the, the man Esau. Bro, you got, bro, you got hair. Esau. Everywhere. You might be the, the man Esau regenerated. Esau. He could really be. He looked, Esau. That's how Esau looked like. Alice was scared that I was quite orange. You're red. You're scared. And you're a beast. You bet. You you got your, how are you walking around with no shoes on? You ain't stepping on rocks and stuff? I got assaulted today. Huh? I got assaulted. You got assaulted? Yeah. You got beat? Yeah. Was, was, by, uh... <coughs> you didn't even tell me his name. why you got the hospital band? He was scared of his dad. Not the daddy grew up with his dad. He had a power level 4. He got little age we ain't about to entertain Esau. You know, he got Satan on him. He's trying to take away, take away the word. The book of Revelation, chapter 18 and verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. 
You gotta come out this nasty, filthy place. We're in the last days. This place, Babylon the Great, AKA America's bound to get destroyed. We gotta come up out of this place or you're gonna get destroyed with it. Talking to the Israelites. Come on, man, don't blow that over here, man. Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins. Right, so we don't be partaking with her sins. You know, sin equals death, right? So that's why we gotta come out this place and get away from him. Cause he's gonna get destroyed, right? There's no hope for him, for his nation, and everybody else outside of the 12 tribes of Israel, there's no hope for them. They're gonna get destroyed. You Israelites, you don't wanna get destroyed with them, right? That's a super L to go down with them, right? Give me um, 1 Kings 11 and um, 15. Matter of fact, and then go to um, Esau at the end of the world. What's that, 2nd Andrew 6 and 9? I got a question for y'all, I got a question. You guys believe in the Bible, what color is Jesus Christ? What color is Jesus Christ according to the Bible? That's false, that's false. See? First King, what? I got Second Kings, but I think uh, I think sec I think Second Kings, eleven, and fifteen. That's what I want. I believe it's Second Kings, eleven and fifteen. We're gonna get on the Edomite, the Edomite. Right here. This is the book of. Not the first. It might be first. First, first, first. You know, First Kings, Second Kings. You know, it get confusing. That's okay. I'm going to bring it out. 11. 15. Uh-huh. And I got that over there. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 11, and verse 15. And for it came to pass when David was in Edom. When David, King David, was in Edom. And Joab, the captain of the host, was going up to bury the slain. After he had smitten every male in Edom. What did Joab do? Smitten every male in Edom. That's gonna happen again. Read. Ooh. For six months did Joab remain there with all Israel until he had cut off every male in Edom. What did he do? Cut off every male in Edom. Cut off every male in Edom. It's coming real near. He read. Ooh, that had had fled, that had fled, he had, Salakia, that had fled, he and certain Edomites of his father's servants with him. Is that verse 16? Yeah. See, you guys no, that's 17, that's 17. You guys were trying to run, and you guys were getting shot down. You see, you guys were trying to run, you were getting shot down. Go to uh, 2 Samuel 8 and um, 2. Go to 2 Samuel 8 and 2. So look, our forefathers had a history of slaying you heathen. That's why you guys are so scared of us. But you guys, you guys know we were whooping ass, right? right? We were mutilating y'all, and that's gonna. And you guys fear that's gonna come back, which it is gonna come back. That's why you guys try to prolong us, you know, and throw little monkey riches in, in here and there. They try to hinder the building, but you can't hinder the building, right? 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 Try to escape. The book of Second Samuel, chapter eight and verse two. Moab. Two, and he smote Moab. See, see? and we get we got Moab too. The, the Chinese man today. We're going into why your heathen is trying to hinder the building of the Israelites because you guys remember this history where we were whooping ass, mutilating y'all. Read. And he smote Moab and measured them with the line, casting them down to the ground. Hold on, I got a question for you. Hey, I got a question for you. You don't want to speak? All right, read. Casting him down to the ground, even with two lines measured, he put, so like a he to put to death, and with one full line to keep alive. And so the Moabites became David's servants. The Moabites became what? David's servants. See, see? David was was measuring the Moabites in every what? What did he say? Every second one? It said, them down to the ground, even with two lines measured, he put to death. See, he measured them every second one, he knocked them off. That's what we were doing to the Chinese man. That's why you gotta know. That's why you gotta know. Okay. No, I don't. What's that looking like over there? 
But yeah, so he was measuring the Chinese man. That's why you gotta know the nations. That's why, see, the, the secrets are to the Israelites. We know who's who, right? When you, it hit different when you know who's who in the Bible, right? It hit different when you know who the Moab man is, when you know who the Israelites is, when you know who the Ammon man is, when you know who the Israelites is, the Bible hits different, right? <laughs> So he was better than Chinese men, chopping them down, and they became his servants. Go to 14. Verse 14. Verse 14. Good. Verse 14. And he put garrisons in Edom. Garrisons in Edom mean put a tower to watch you devil. Right? We have to, we have to keep an eye on you. And he put garrisons in Edom throughout all Edom. Throughout the whole land. We have binoculars and everything looking at y'all. Make sure you guys are within line. What's up, man? You said binoculars? We probably wouldn't have binoculars, but we're just keeping an eye on y'all. You know, I'm just bringing it up to speed. Right? And he put garrisons in Edom. Throughout all Edom put he garrisons. And all they of Edom became David's servants. Okay, what? David's servants. You guys are David's slaves, right? That, when you go to verse 2, it was the Moab, the Chinese man. When you jump up to 14, it was y'all. So we had the Chinese man in captivity. We had y'all, Edomites in captivity, all at the same time. And you guys remember this. That's why you guys are in cahoots to keep us down and, and, and hinder our building, right? right. But it's not going to work. Not gonna work, right? Is there more than that? Uh, 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 right here it says, And Edom became David's servants, and the Lord preserved David whithersoever he went. Right, he was with them. The Most High was with him, so he was he couldn't do no wrong. He was whooping the ass, mutilating y'all, right? Let me see. Go to, uh, go to uh, that second edge. Second Chronicles 25 and 11. Second Chronicles 25 and 11. We're going to get some more on why y'all were so scared of the rising of the Israelites. That's the that's the most scary thing to a white man is for us to know the Bible and know who we are. Right? If I was you, I would be rattled too. It's the book of Second Chronicles chapter 25 and verse 11. And, Am and Amazah Amaziah. And Amaziah strengthened himself right. and led forth his people right. and went to the valley of salt and smote of the children of Sair 10,000. I mean, you know why he did that? Amaziah smote and smote it of the children of Sair 10,000. Killed 10,000 Edomites. Mm. 10,000 Edomites. That's a lot of Edomites. A lot of Esau's kids, a lot of you guys. And other 10,000s left alive did the children of Judah carry away captives. They made them captive. And brought them unto the top of the rock. And brought them to the top of the rock. Let's see what he did when they brought them to the top of the rock. The rocks that you guys love. We took you guys to the top of the rock. Like the edge of right? the cliff? Right, to the edge of the cliff. Let's Ooh. see what happened. It didn't get juicy. Oh, it brought them to the... Ooh. and brought them unto the top of the rock and cast them down from the top of the rock right. that they all were broken into pieces. It was what? Broken into pieces. It was a, he kicked you guys off the cliff. It was a head over there, an arm over there, a kneecap over there. So this is why you guys are scared. Hey, hey, come right here. Ask me. Come on. Okay. Ask me. Why you asking everybody except for me? I got the mic. You want to know what this is about? Look, this is about the coming, the black. Oh, now you step on that. Hey, I got a question for you. What color, what color is Jesus Christ, according to the Bible? He's white? No, I'm asking you. What? Hey, hey, hey. If Jesus Christ was walking today, how would you identify him? What would, what would, you, what would you say? How would you identify Jesus Christ? Does he, would he look, would you say he's a white man like him, like yourself? Would you say he's an Arab man, a Mexican, a, 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 a Chinese man? Say he's Arab? I know, I would not say he's Arab. 
The Bible says it's Israeli. The Bible says that? Jewish Israeli. Jewish, it says that? Yes, it does. Jewish? No, there's no. It says he's a Jew. He's an Israelite. So what so, so, so would you so would you say he looks like an Israeli? Jewish. Which is Jewish, which is a white man. Huh? He wouldn't look like that? So what would man come on? What would he look like? It's like pulling teeth. I wouldn't say he looks like any of those things. I would say he's like a well, he would give me a celebrity. I would say he's a brown. He's a brown. Like a black man? Like him? We're going to get it for you. I know exactly. This is a book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. It's the last book of the Bible, the revelation of Jesus Christ. We're going to help you out here. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Jesus Christ, so far, he got woolly hair. Right? So who has woolly hair today? Who would you say? Come on, man. No, I know. How, 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 how old are you? How long have you been on this earth? You four. 34, you don't know who has woolly hair today? You need help? What about you? What do you say? He gonna, he, he gonna tell you. Maybe someone with an afro. He? What do you say? Say it again for, for your brother. Maybe he has a, if it's woolly, maybe it sounds like an afro. See how easy that is? Something like this? He said he has an afro. He's texture baby. So do you agree with that? So, so, so far he got an afro. Which is right, woolly hair, is right? Immortal, right? You got something like that look like, like this, similar to this. This is right. not Jesus, but it's similar to. Oh. Right, right, right. Like back in the seventies, remember they had afros, right? The white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a, as a flame of fire, and his feet. Oh, his feet. Look at his feet. Those dirty feet right there. Your your brother's feet. I'm talking about his feet, right? Your feet is the same color as the rest of your body. And his feet like unto fine brass. So far he got brass colored feet. What color is that? Brass. Huh? Brass? It's like orange? It's like rusty. Like a brown. So what happens if you burn anything? What color does that turn if you burn something? You burn toast. It turned what? Okay, watch this. And his feet like unto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace. So he had black burnt feet. So he had an afro so far with black, black feet, dark and woolly hair. So what would you say he was? Man, get that answer right. Watch this, cause because you we just gave you a, a detailed description and you said I don't know. We're gonna show you what type of spear you're rolling in. First down for him, two. Yeah, you're rolling in a certain spear. It, it's bad. This is some smart people have a good time. Tell him. Okay, it's the book of first John chapter four and verse two. Hereby know he the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. You're not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist. You're Antichrist. That's why you didn't want to say what he looked like, you damn devil, you. Get the hell out of here. Get ready for captivity. See, your brother is going to get hard, hard bondage. You've been a good sport, so we might we might not beat you, beat you like that. But him, go back to uh, First Protocols about getting knocked off the damn cliff, right? And they got broken to pieces. This is, what's gonna, this is what we might do. This is what we're going to do to him. Watch this. Watch this. We're going to run it back. Run it back for him. 25, first. First. We're gonna run it back from like, First Chronicles. Like our forefathers. Check this, this out. This is the book of First Chronicles, chapter. Uh, 15, or 11, or whatever. First Chronicles. 